I play solitaire when I do live concerts. <laughs> so everyone, we're live. This is Fox Mantis yeah. 3. Yeah. Solitaire. You're listening to oh. some conspiracy theories, outer space stuff. Space. We got Charlie Hayes. I got Hi. Hunter Wayne still here. Space. He's actually locked in a closet. Um, space. We're in space. Yeah. Even locked inside the closet. So for anyways, about an hour now. Here's, here's something crazy, space. right? So asteroids oh. blow through this planet. So close. They're yeah. getting so close. Mm -hmm. You see do, articles. Do you really think that we can They hit us. Survive? They hit us on like almost a daily basis. Yeah, like, there's some really big through. ones that pass just, between us and the moon. You see oh, yeah. articles just about Just recently. It. Almost yeah. every six months, yeah. it's yeah. like, oh man, this could ruin everything. And it's yep. just, we're all good. The next I think day. our energy as human people, as our like collective, like there's some smart peoples on mountains that are like honing into this like energy, like Scrubs. the ozone, that is deflecting all this bullshit away. Well, our moon is actually the biggest reason for that because our moon they say that long ago there were two moons and yeah. one of them has been destroyed just like they also said that there were two earths but one of them was destroyed at like sister planets or some shit but uh, um but uh when that happened it threw the earth off of its previous axis to the 23 degree axis that it's at at now so it uh, tilted it Yes, but because it's, like, it's at that, they say that left. if it moves even 0.5 degrees one way or the other, that it will throw the entire planet into an imbalance, you know what I mean? Because it's so fucking crucial. But our moon is going around us in our orbit and magnetizes. So it's like anything that comes in near our orbit, it's it can't come directly down through, you know what I mean? Just because of the way that, because we're moving how many thousands of miles per hour, you know, and rotate, you know what I'm saying? It's like we're, we're fucking hauling constantly. balls through nothingness, you know what yeah. I mean? Our nothingness, not all of the collective nothingness, but just our big ass fucking shit pool. Right. And uh, but uh, um, but yeah, so you've got um, the moon. Um, they say takes a lot of that impact, but you still have shit falling out of the sky. I mean, like on a regular. Like I mean, there was a, a huge thing that they said was they say it was like the size of New York City or, or city block or some fucking something really big that just came between us and the like moon some in January. Type yeah. And, so, uh, so think of it like this, right? You ever played one of those like old Nintendo, Sega games where asteroid. You're, you're running around. No, it's like a platformer where you have this little ball that deflects shit. That's the fucking moon, right? Mm -hmm. You're just running. You're running through space because we're always growing. We're always going. You have this little ball fucking consistently just wrapped around you because of good luck, energy, whatever that fucking happened. Maybe that was the original Earth that we crashed into. Now she's just holding on, you mm -hmm. know? And uh, she's sitting there deflecting all that bullshit, man. But dark side of the moon theorists think that there's an alien civilization oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. on the dark yeah. side of the moon. What that's do you guys where, think about that? Well, they say, also mm. say that that's where the Nazis went, too. <laughs> oh, no, 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 maybe the movie. I mean, it's that. completely plausible, yeah. but I mean, it's... No, know. they went down to fucking South America and they're like, Antarctica. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Among other just, places. And yeah. Texas and fucking Nebraska... And it's like we got like 30% of all the Nazi officials to work as scientists and shit like that. The dude that, that spearheaded NASA and evolved and got us to space, got us to the moon, was a Nazi. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... Well, you he's know. been building rockets for fucking decades. Oh, yeah. And that's why we're like, Scoops, we need this. Fuck the Russians, because mm -hmm. we just took out yeah. Germany. They all fled. Mm -hmm. They all... like So So here's the thing, right? 50 U-boats uh, U-boats went missing. Mm-hmm. Um, Antarctica. Yeah, they went down to Argentina, yeah, yeah. and there's from the very tip of Argentina, there's a really nice entrance into Antarctica. Yep. And so there was a conspiracy and theory. And a battle called, and fucking all kinds of yeah, cool yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a Project something. I forgot. Uh, Project X. Pretty oh, that movie. Yeah, it was Project Starship Trooper. But there, though, there was a real project. Ah, oh, fuck. It's not paperclip. It's not all that bullshit. Dude, 420, oh man. God damn it. Yeah. There's a project. There's a guy who went there right after, like, it was like 1945. They went immediately down with 5,000 troops. They went on a naval battle. And all they wanted to do, supposedly, on the media was just to, like, see what's going down there and, and establish some scientific... Uh, like thermometer shit. This is Drunk History by Wayne Vashon. You brought to you by Fox Mantis Radio. And what had happened is he brought 5,000 troops down there 
And in 20 days, once they reached Antarctica in their target location, they immediately hightailed back to America with only 2,000 troops left. So what has been theorized, and it's not true, but what had happened, uh, what I've heard from conspiracy theories is when they went there, they were trying to get to this Nazi base that was underneath the, the, the huge lip of the Arctic base, like the Arctic uh, uh, iceberg. And they were underneath establishing this base. And so when this general went there, he started, he was trying to, he noticed it, but it was like through this thick sheet of Arctic, this fucking bullshit, because they took U-boats. So they went underneath all this Arctic glaciers that were surrounding this They went to opening. underwater caves where the so aliens were So they went underneath chilling. it, they submerged and made this crazy fucking base. Made friends with where they Where they were doing... Um, their Made research the when they when they left Germany, yeah, they were doing like research <laughs> about uh, disc floating discs and how to make it work. And so when this fleet of five thousand Americans went down there, um, they reached this and they were immediately attacked and out armed because supposedly that these spiral disc crafts came out of the water and just started blasting them from the sky. And they lost so many troops within that 20 days that they had to hightail and go back. So that, that, that I mean, Antarctica is a mystery. And uh, no one knows exactly what's going on there. There's so many conspiracies about it. Or is there like an ancient civilization that's frozen in the ice? Who knows, right? But the skepticism says yes. Like, there's a lot of things out there. And so this story that I told you is something you can look up, and it is a factual event. 3,000 people were lost. Lost. How? Who knows? But anyways, that's my uh, conspiracy theory about yeah. Antarctica. I fucking firmly believe that shit. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Dude, I was listening to uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson on Joe Rogan's podcast, and he was talking about that uh, the craters on the moon. It's like if Because there have always been thought to be asteroid impact right meteor and asteroid impact spots but thing about that is because it's moving in our orbit and moving at an angle and that would be coming at an angle the chance of it taking a direct 90 degree perfectly perpendicular hit to the surface of the moon is almost impossible and so they're and so they're saying now instead it actually looks like uh like uh craters i just think that so our magnetosphere would that deter the moon to hit implying us. that there's some type of seismic acti- or of, of, of thermal activity yeah. Maybe possibly inside of, at least at one time, you know what I mean? But uh, they said it definitely looks more like uh, uh, the, like you, like you look at where there's been a, a mountain or that exploded volcano and the crater that's left behind. It's a, uh, yeah, I just thought that was kind of cool. Because um, I always thought that all the spots on the moon were craters. Right. Or were in asteroid spots. But it doesn't really matter because it's made of cheese anyway. So, he goes so out, right? h- how many people do you think you would ship out to Mars? Shit of cheese! Would you <laughs> ship out the best of the best, the most intelligent people out to Mars to go and die in the first round? Or do you ship out, like, people that just need to get the fuck out of the planet? Generation 5. Fifth generation. Because just like a fucking Xbox, dude, you don't so buy many the first generations, one. Dude, you kidding? <laughs> don't buy the first one, man. You like, never dude, buy the first there was, one. Yeah, there was like 25 yeah. dynasties of Egypt. And Except that ended in the ecstasy fucking, back in 92. Like 15, yeah. that 15, 93, 1500 that was different. AD. Because that was pure MDMA. It was fucking, like, literally fucking pharmaceutical. You know what I mean? Fucking the beginner shit that they were giving, like, for marriage counseling and shit. And, uh, but yeah, that shit, that's different. But... But that's long ago, you know. But, uh, but yeah, fucking Nazis, man. They fucking, uh, they almost won. Yeah. They made that ever so fucking popular critical error and they tried to cross the Ural Mountains in the wintertime and you just can't do that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Especially if you don't have shit. You're just whoa, whoa, what, what, half barefoot. The Russians would have killed them. Oh, dude, the Russians would have came in. They let the mountains from behind kill them. and they let the, snow the Germans kill them. up hard. Mm-hmm. They Hitler let the snow did go. what he did to get the fuck out. Yep. That's it. That the only reason why he did that two-part war is so he can get the fuck out. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's my theory. But I'm just saying, if he concentrated on... Yeah, he could have conquered uh, England. And that would have been huge. 
Like, but, but, at the same but, time, though, England's one of those the weird... The thing is, is, like, he killed France. Easy. He he let them keep their, like, fucking holy grails yeah. of their... Like, Paris, he didn't destroy Paris. They could have easily destroyed Paris. Well, Great Britain Dude, is... everyone is, destroys uh, every great... The, the city of Alexandra in Egypt was the, the hugest library with all this fucking parchment. And that burnt to the ground. And they kept Paris alive. So... They the thing about the whole Nazi regime, regime, and I'm not trying to dignify it, is they were huge fans of ancient culture. Oh yeah, yeah. No, they kept artifacts. shit. Yeah, they kept Everyone shit. Everyone was. Yeah, they kept Everyone shit. Everyone was. And where did that go? Mm. The AI has our minds in a, mm. in a sense because yeah. we're thinking about the future. When the ancient past, we've forgotten so much because it was destroyed. And the fact that like Hitler left Paris as is intact. You know, he, he definitely destroyed a lot of the culture. Oh, yeah. People that thought of absent and all that stuff. You know, like, mm -hmm. it totally changed. But he kept the structures alive, and that's important. Yep. Napoleon did that. Well, well, they were cultists. I mean, they were, like, into, like, various as as aspects of the Napoleon occult. Napoleon found the Rosetta Stone that made us understand hieroglyphs. Yeah. In two different fashions, all out of Greek. Cookie? Oh, yeah. I can see it in there, too. Nice. Anyways. I love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is Fox Man's Radio. We're taking a little snacky, breaky, bruh. Want some, bro? Everyone's... Uh, I'll take one. Fuck yeah, I'll take one. Um, we're taking a little snacky break. We're just chewing. Got to. It's Fuck fine. Carbs and sugar, no man. one spit on the microphones, but if you do, it's okay. We're taking a little snacky break. Dude, I shot three Your wads kids. on this thing within the first five minutes I was here. What? I have to mark my territory, bro. Part There's semen on my walls? What'd you no, say? No, on your mic. Oh, that, that's fine. It just was too sharp. Favorite. I had to muffle it just, a little bit. Just eat the microphone. Mm -hmm. It's good, it. though. Candy coated. Eat that fucking mic, bro. Icing, 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 icing. Skeet, skeet, eat that microphone, bro. Dude. Eat it. Hold on a second. This is my uh, campaign for my favorite cookie snack. It is golden sandwich cookies from Trader Joe's. Fuck yeah, Trader Joe's. Hell yeah. Mm. That's Satan. a good cookie. So this is oh the best God. generic shit ever. It's like the best high quality generic shit. Oh yeah, you know, I can taste the generic. It's so rich, mm -hmm. nice. It's good, and they actually use like actual vanilla beans in the filling. Yeah, oh, I can uh, taste that it. flavor of cheese. It's also is fucking amazing. Yeah, that fucking cheddar jack or whatever it is. Yes. Yeah. It's just cheese good. nips are for fucking hacks. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. Fucking go fuck a goldfish. Man, I want my cheesy nips. Fucking. Mm -hmm. Cheetos Puffcorn. cheesy poops. Shut up, man. Hello, hello, pretty party. I'm Hey, this is uh, Trey I'm Parker, and I don't appreciate what you guys are doing. You guys are under arrest for legal identity. Oh, really? This is my iconic rights, and I'm not making any sense, but neither does Mr. Garrison, does he? Brought to you by the commercial about fucking snacks. This is snack time. Snacks are bad. Okay. 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 It's like some Leisure Suit Larry shit. Yeah. It's like, like a ringtone that someone answers. <laughs> it's like, hello? <laughs> Hello, this is your friend. Like, My name is friend. Your name is friend. We're friends and we just do friendly things. We're fucking friends. Hey, friend. What's going on? We're friends. Danny McBride's like, hold on. My grandma's calling me. <laughs> Fuck. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, we're just friends. We're no, friends. don't fucking I'm your grandma, right but you're my I son, you. grandson. We're <laughs> friends. We're friends. Everyone is friends. Friends with glasses, friends with that. We're friends. Hats are loud. We're friends. <laughs> That's my rap song. Amigo. It's called, it's called Amigos. Called Amigo? Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah. 
It's called Moindruk. 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 That's Russian for my friend. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Privet, grazie, vizze. For my chicken. <laughs> Privet, grazie, vizze. Cocktail of my drug. That's hello, beautiful. How are you today, my friend? Nice. Yeah, dude. Spasiba. Every time. Spasiba. I had one day I was like, I want to learn some Russian. And I just Googled a bunch of shit. The things are important. Yeah. Dude, I want that fucking earpiece. Oh my god, yeah. <sighs> 150 bucks I can fucking hear what everybody's saying <laughs> I can't say what they're saying what they're I mean I can't communicate unless they have an earpiece too but literally like the UN fucking council awesome. translator oh my god it's 150 bucks 150 fucking bucks to put a thing in my ear and understand what these crazy so, motherfuckers at my so work are saying so how would that work so say they're speaking we're like just dicking around right Mandarin Vietnamese and, and, and we're just we're just dicking around we all have our earpieces in we all spend 150 dollars we get the earpieces we sing them together right and we talk English, you can hear English, right? But then we just start digging around and be like, Bonjour, amigo. <laughs> Eventually, once you like, kind of pick up friend. on it, Hello. Like, it doesn't matter what language you're speaking, it's just like, this is what it w is. Wouldn't it be English. like, kind of like Dances with Wolves and shit, or whatever the fuck, to where you eventually, because that's all you're hearing, you kind of figure out what shit is? You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, it, it seems like it would be that way. It's like, it's, if you're yeah. communicating with the same dialect, like over and over and over again. We would use the we get the headpieces say, "Hey, how's it going?" And then here, "Hey, how's it going?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they they, they pick you up as well. Great. You're like, "Hey, what's going? Great." They're like, "Bonjour, great. Hello." <laughs> Bo hey, what's going on? Uh, Come on, va? Great. Hello. <laughs> Privet. <laughs> Privet. Great. Hello. Matane. Great, hello. Oh. <laughs> Ni hao. Great, <Yes>. hello. <laughs> Ni hao. <laughs> he said, how high is your knee? Ni hao. Ni hai. Oh. Hey, do you know how to speak Spanish? No. We. Yes. Well, just... Do. Yes, you do. Just spell socks. Socks? Yes, yeah, socks. S-O-C-K-S? That's right. See, you just said S O C K S. You're speaking Spanish already, silly goose. <laughs> That's a mom joke. That, that was a commercial. Every, every, that was a fucking commercial. You're dude. my commercial. Yeah, that was a commercial back in the day, man. Fucking learn to speak sp Spanish. It was back in the 1960s. It was like 91, I want to say. Right, right when. Uh, Maybe 90. I saw on TV, I was like, what the? the Vietnam War fuck? sprang. Because it's like, she's like, spell socks. Oh, you can speak Spanish. Because he spelled oh, socks. Wow, oh, man. Oh, oh, my goodness. Okay, so what Whack I want y'all to do is eat Don't some be. cheese. Okay, oh, so yeah. after that, Queso. I want you to do some other stuff. Okay, so I need you to eat the cheese. Queso. And after, uh, I need you to be a real man. Queso. I need you Queso. to do what you gotta do. Eat that cheese, motherfucker. Okay, so I need you to do something else real quick. Did you? So. I'm fixing to like build a house, and I need you to like be a man. Queso. Queso, man, are you even paying attention? Queso. So I like cheese. Did you know that if you go down into Mexico, and maybe not by the border, but down in Mexico, say Puerto Vallarta or La Ciudad de Mexico, that you order, let's say you go to a restaurant, even the ones that have like Caucasian waiters and stuff, if you order queso, they look at you like you're half-tarded. And you're like, what the fuck? And they're like, you just want cheese? And they're you're like, no, a bowl of queso, <laughs> melted cheese, melted. And then they bring you back some coahia co cheese. Dude, you need to mark that microphone, bro. They, what? You put so many of your DNA particles on it. Uh, Alex Jones! What, they bring you a pile yeah, of look at stinky, it. Hey, look at it. melted stinky basement cheese with fucking a layer of oh, oil on really top of it. Oh, they really do give you some garbage. They give, they give you uh, coahia cheese. It's fucking, it's like uh, their white cheese that they put on everything. But it's more, it's closer to uh, provolone, but doesn't taste as good than it is anything. Or, or mozzarella even, so it doesn't melt properly. Yeah. And it's fucking, the oil separates, and it's just a thing oh. of like, uh, and, you, and the plate's fucking piping hot, but it smells like a basement's ass. Man. Yeah, yeah man. That I've sounds only, so don't delicious. order queso in Mexico. Hey, guys, guys, let's be honest, man. When 
Queso have con belbeita. Ever not eaten a basement's ass? Because they're delicious. Oh, good, good. It smells atrocious. Mm-hmm. Basement ass is actually good. Mm-hmm. Depends whose basement ass. Yes. <laughs> you're at, you know. Yeah, first basement. First basement. They don't have to run basement. much. If you're at a literal basement ass. Wait, are you talking about the basement ass or go the to, basement go ass? Go to bed. You're not even listening. Someone's personal. You guys are not even ass. listening to me. Do you mean like a shortstop or something? Is that what you're saying? I said, I love hockey. What are you talking about? You said the basement's ass. Fuck yeah, man. Yep. Yeah. Oh. There's no fishing with fly fishing with sand fly fishing or it was salmon eggs. Mm. Thank you for that uh, plug right there. That's uh, Sam fishing's eggs. No, I had a uh, we're them kids. Why they're hot? We're kids. We went fishing, and uh, it's a fucking state park. And because our ancestors used to own the land before Teddy Roosevelt took it for public wilderness land and all that. Those um, of you guys that don't know who Chaha is, he's a uh, seven foot, two hundred fifty pound black albino. No, he's not albino. In my opinion, he looks like a a Navajo that killed fifteen hundred people. He did. That's just my. Yeah, you know, like it's a not Navajo. true. It's Apache. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Apache. But he knows how to use it. Oh, what's it called? A tomahawk. Navajo. Apache and Cherokee. Navajos. Apache, Cherokee, Osage. But anyways, he scalped a lot of fucking people. Amongst and other things. He also said that if anybody wants to come in this room and fight him, he has to go through Hunter Wayne first. Because yeah. Hunter Wayne is jacked. I've got the Scottish right? in me, and I've got me Irish, and I've got me Welsh, and I have German, and I found that out recently. Um, Dutch, but not as much Dutch, so I'm cool. It's like, Ancestry.com. I was, I was pissed. I was like bummed Hashtag, out when I found out I was Dutch. Who's your family? Navajo. I don't know, but now we I was know. bummed out. Now the homie they owned more Navajo. slaves than anybody, right? The Dutch? The Dutch owned more slaves than anybody? Wasn't that like the, st- the stats? Yeah. Right? And I was like, fuck, man. My ancestors were fucking slave owners and shit, probably, maybe. And But then I found out I was German. I was like, okay, so lots and lots and lots of slaves for hundreds of years or 20 million people. It's, so it's tough. But the Germans make really good shit. So it's kind of like, you know. And also, too, you can't even have a swastika in Germany or it's like, punishable it's like oh yeah treason even having I mean? a copy of mine yeah. come for it's like treason fucking jail, yeah, you're fucked mm-hmm. yeah go to the pokey free speech isn't it great with all the skinheads right? <laughs> dude yeah. we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for uh the constitution we're in a blessed fucking bubble and everybody bitches and gripes about it and it sucks sometimes but better than what it's better than with. almost every other place it's better than any place we can move to Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I mean, especially now. Honestly. Because our, our fucking list of fucking places to get to move to are fucking going down fast. I'd go to Australia and New Zealand. People are buying up. Oh, yeah. New you Zealand literally got to. You style. literally need to fucking meet a New Zealand chick and get her pregnant and marry her to move to New Zealand. They're taking nobody, especially no, Americans. No, that's not true. No, they're not taking you, Americans. You can anymore. literally have a huge sum of money shot into your veins. We're Americans. And you can get to New Zealand. There's th- there's like this Dude, whole someone thing. bought his way in New Zealand without the three years. But that's be- that's before to. Trump. You got you have to take in consideration the atmosphere that we're in right now because because of us closing our borders is forcing other countries to say, "Well, fuck you too. We're not going to let you in here." You know what I mean? And let's, so, ho- let's steal fucking and it's smart men again. A lot of- If we can steal smart men, fuck mm. Steve Bannon, fuck all these bullshits and Trump's campaign. If we can get... So, like, 2020, you know who I want for president? This is, I'm, Jesse I'm the Body saying, Ventura. No, no, I want Mark Zuckerberg He's cool. fucking president. He's fucking cool. I would have a, a, a fucking AI technician as you know, president. Dwayne Durock Johnson, just fuck you. Yeah, Dwayne, I would watch this fan every day yeah, dude. if Dwayne Duroc Johnson was there. President Camacho! Imagine, uh, he does a fucking body slam mm-hmm. on motherfuckers every fucking day. Well, the dude, dude is so, up every day at 5 a.m. and working out for four hours straight before he does an, fucking anything. He's almost you know what not I mean? human yeah. with his, like, oh, yeah. with his diet. And and, just oh, his, and not to mention, he's a fucking royal blood. Yes. His fucking granddaddy or whatever was a fucking king. And, and yeah, remember, words. he was a scorpion king. No, he was a fucking... <laughs> he was. <laughs> but he was he, also the tooth fairy. From a red and, and blue standpoint, let, let everyone me say, likes him. Mm-hmm. Dude, no, that's fine. But that's like... 
Borderline idiocracy. If yeah. we fucking hire a wrestler as president. Well, you've got racist people that me? love Dwayne the Rock right Johnson. Now, you know you've already had everyone would love him. Everyone. 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 As president. Everyone. Because yep. he's not a bigot and mm-hmm. fucking he's not, he's not too much of either side. Yep. yep. Out of all the real potential run, uh, can, uh, candidates that have said that they're going to run as of right now, plus the ones that might, you know, that always do, um, the one that I hear that talks the, the most shit but backs it up is Jesse Ventura. It's like he's he's a conspiracy theorist to a certain degree, but he's not afraid. I've to been fucking... governor of Alaska. No, we're, we're, I am governor of Mi- Missis- Minnesota. Let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> it's been a collaboration from Fox Pants Studio. Let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> brother, <laughs> Hulkster. Oh yeah, it's the Macho Man Randy Slim Savage Jim. back Slim on the podcast. Jim. Yeah, Bone Saw is ready. <laughs> Cocaine's a hell of a drug. George Animal Steel died. Uh, mm-hmm. That's sad. Yep. So All the wrestler people need to be immortal. So did <laughs> everyone the, else should die. So did the other dude, the Russian Prime Minister Vladimir uh, Putin guy. You can't get that fucking lucky. Pissed uh, off. That's George a scary w. son of a Bush. bitch. Back, yeah. in, back in the 2000s. That dude, I don't want to say anything bad about Trump. him. Fuck that. He's, he's, on him. he's already got the inside hook hookup. Right. Yeah, I don't know. But one thing, here's the thing. And I, I say this to the same people that were com- bitching and griping and fighting Obama the whole time he was president. Yeah. As I'm saying to this, all the people that are fighting Trump. He won the popularity contest. We're fucked for four years. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe, I mean, wrong, most likely fucked. Wrong. You know what I mean? 17 <laughs> years. I had a American oh, apprentice. No. You've heard. It's great. You've heard what he's doing, haven't you? That not only is he. Yeah, I don't have sex with Melania anymore. He's already planning his reelection, but he's already trying to go for the clause that allowed Franklin Delano Roosevelt to be president for more than two terms because of a time of crisis and war. So he's already. I'm really good. Talked at campaigning. about going multiple terms. Uh, dude. You know? I'm and, a dictator. And the way he's I'm not a dictator, the but inside. I said I was a dictator. He's, My campaign slogan is "Make America a Dictatorship Again." My name's Donald Trump. 2020. It's been a great year. You see the wall. I need more time to build a wall. Huge. The wall's gonna be huge, like you said. Huge. Well it, be. well, it took the Chinese 40 billion years to build their wall. Fuck those guys. Fuck My em. attorney general is uh, Ross Perot. Everyone give it up. Yeah, it's a true fact. True fact. Brontosaurus helped the Chinese build the Great Wall. Solved it. Solved. 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 Pyramids. I love you, Donald Trump. Pterodactyls. God bless your soul. God Pterodactyls. Steve Banner, everyone. Steve Solved. Banner. What, do you, what do you think about this? This is a CNN reporter. I already know. It's been four years. Uh, we've already yeah, been slandered all. enough. That no sorry. one watches I us. Had, I had literally had a suck dick for coke to be oh, on the me. air. I've loved one sugar. I actually do feel like a douchebag. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's fucked up, bro. I said you could have, a, have, the, have something out of the fridge and not take the whole kitchen. That's fucked up. I, I had part of a cookie. And that's her oh, coupon. It. See that time we, yeah, Next time we do one of these, I'm going to bring a whole box. Oh, it's okay. I'll okay. bring it because I have a little blood okay. sugar. I might have a seizure. <laughs> I actually was like, oh, fuck. If I have a seizure, <laughs> do you know how to resuscitate someone who's having a seizure? Oh, hell no. I'd have, okay. the, I'd have the look up a YouTube when tutorial. When a man yeah, kisses it's, it's a scary. man. My blood sugar gets low yeah. fucking... Wakes oh up my from God. a seizure. Uh, he mm-hmm. said, dude, bad. you broke <laughs> the man code. Then he hmm. recitates him. I have some sugar in here. God damn it, Alex Jones. <laughs> Wait, fuck. <laughs> Don't judge me. America. Great. I didn't mean to take all the cookies. This, this podcast out. was brought to you by Cheez-Its and delicious... What used to be delicious, golden sandwich, <laughs> vanilla sandwich cookies from Trader Joe's. They, they actually I didn't mean to eat all those cookies. My I blood went sugar. I'm like and ate a steak earlier today. <laughs> Let's give it to Alex My blood Jones sugar's getting low. for eating all the cookies in the cookie jar. I mean, Alex Jones is a growing boy. <laughs> you know? He's got to have his, his fair share. Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> Infowars brought to you by diabetes. It's a problem. Fuck yeah, it is. Uh, yeah. 
I wonder if Alex Jones for real has diabetes. He has high blood pressure. Let's 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 say that for sure. He's a fucking. He's funny. that guy gets red face more than Indians Brandon do when they do first start to lose. to make lose. him look less fat on television at a time. And then you know what his solution was? Eating people. Talk shit about Chris Christie. Well, let- <laughs> distract the fucking- eating Chris Christie. Distract the attention shit? to the fatter guy. Right. He's like, <laughs> you know, I'm eating your fucking foot. Right Hang now. out with Chris Christie because you always know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like the it's like the, the the medium chick. It's like the boxy chick hanging out with the big 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 troll chick because she looks like she's like a size four next to the. But she's really size 13 next to size 36. It's like Ronda Rousey when she started blocking punches with her face. Oh, man. Fuck that bitch. She's so... I would fuck Ronda Rousey. She's such an airhead. Well, she's... She was... (laughs) She if She she, got knocked the fuck out. Here's the thing. God, what a joke. Well, here's the thing, though. Had her... Had... She didn't have... She didn't have so many fucking yes men in her fucking team. Her her one-dimensional fucking team. Trainer. Then her boyfriend's she, losing because she would have continued to just go out, bum rush a bitch, slam him on their head and arm bar him first round like she did with everybody pump, but Misha Tate. Pump but it she out. did get Misha Tate in the third round. You know what I'm saying? Those first nine fights were fucking first round. Dude, arm imagine bar. You getting know what I mean? your striking it's, arm broken. Fuck. That would ruin her yeah. fucking career. She'd still be you undefeated if she did the same you thing. You have to you tap. Know what I'm saying? But she thought she could box arm because they you told her she could box. Back. Right. And, she and she can't box. She's working it so hard you, that it's going to break your fucking money maker. Well, you and can't you fucking box on a straight so line, hard, man. But you got to tap or she'll mm-hmm. break that shit. You can't box on a straight line with a world kickboxing champion and then try to do the same thing with a fucking badass chick that throws like a dude. You know what I mean? And it's like she's coming forward. She's one dimensional as a fucking stand up fighter. And she, and she can hit the pads hard. But they She's, also practice. I'm going here. I'm going here. It's one, 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 two, one, 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 two, one, one, two, swerp, 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 one, 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 two. They do that shit. And so she yeah. gets memorized. You know what I mean? She's such a fucking poster girl. She mm-hmm. kept saying, Oh, I love Pokemon. I'm such a nerd. I'm going to do Pokemon Go ads for like two weeks. And then just, oh mm-hmm. man, I'm such a nerd. I'm going to campaign to be Captain Marvel up until my big fight where I get my ass beat. The latest one, yeah. <laughs> but which, which, where she kind of lost yeah. me in the beginning. She was, she was awesome, back again, but man. she started being a fucking bully. You know what I mean? She started being an she asshole to her opponents. Apollo Creed, yeah. This kind of fucking pick not, sh- not shaking bitches' hands and talking shit after the fight, and it's just like, okay, that's a good. Yeah. You know, even Conor McGregor, who's the biggest shit talker in the motherfucking history of the game. Who is that well, one dude? He doesn't that... talk shit after the fight. You know what I'm saying? No, he is he's, he's very humble, but he still talks shit, but not about them. Right. You know what I mean? No, it's no, about other shit. It's now the next move. So. Floyd Mayweather. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Versus. Conor oh, is he McGregor. the dude that had Justin Bieber and Lil Wayne come yeah. up with him? Floyd oh. Mayweather is is looked yeah. at as the pound for pound best. He's statistically, two years. Pound for pound best boxer old. possibly of all time. 49 and 0, tied Rocky Marciano's undefeated record. But in his prime, Floyd Mayweather was a bad motherfucker. Now there he's, he's so much money riding on this fight between but Floyd Conor McGregor Mayweather. and Floyd Mayweather. On, Floyd hasn't fought in two yeah. years. 25 million, whoever win or lose. Minimum. That's what Dana offered like they, two weeks they ago. Haven't, they haven't even decided. Well, but there's so much money on this, right? But now. no, but that's but see, that's the thing. Dana White's trying to control the fucking game. Dana no, he White can't, he can't. No, no, here's the thing. He want, Dana this White. This is boxing, baby. No, I know, but you got to understand. Floyd Mayweather is under contract. He's got still got five more fights under the UFC, right? They own his soul until those fights are over with. Even if he retires, he can wait 10 years and still can't come out of retirement because they own him. They're, they're, they're fucking legal so that's his contract? Is, is he can't fight big. after this? But here's the thing. In order for, for him to do anything outside of that, UFC, a.k.a. Dana White, has to okay it. Dana He's White's, already okay. No, no, he, here's what the, the, no, no. Here's the thing. He okayed $25 million to uh, to Connor and $25 million to Floyd. Floyd Mayweather made $200 million out the gate. But this for, is on the boxing, contract. Baby. Uh, that's but you're not hearing me. On this shit. No, like, I know, but hear me. Why why would Floyd Mayweather Conor McGregor has not Gregor has nothing to lose by this fight. He's not supposed to win. He's fighting against Floyd Mayweather. Everybody says he's going to Mayweather's going to mop the floor with him. But Dude, Floyd Mayweather connects, has everything to lose. If Floyd connects. If Floyd can't boxing, possibly man. As, but here's the thing. Floyd Mayweather made 200 million before the bonuses and the pay-per-views and all that shit off that last Manny Pacquiao fight. You know what I'm saying? 
two hundred mil. Man, Pacquiao made a hundred. You two know what I'm saying? Ago. But it doesn't matter. He's training Dude, every he's day. He's gonna get so you know? much money for this fight. But here's but that's, that's the, the thing. thing. Not all not all if for his manager or bank account for guy it to, to control it all. But here's the thing. For it <laughs> to yeah, happen, Dana White, because he owns Conor McGregor's contract, says no. I get a piece of the fucking pie. The problem is he doesn't he's want to get a piece of the pie. He doesn't want an equal piece of the pie. He wants them to have fifty million when they'll make fucking half a billion off that fight. You know what I'm saying? It's not. It's not good. It's good Listen, for Connor. It's, it's making gonna, no, five million more than he's Connor, ever made. Connor's you know under I mean? Dana White's dick. Right? You know what I'm saying? And Mayweather, but he loses. Mayweather's going to make a bunch of. Fucking but if Mayweather money. loses, if he's he gets touched on a, that chin, he's going to still make more than Connor. It doesn't matter though. He, Floyd Mayweather. It's not about. He's cherry he's picked. Not gonna, he's, he has cherry picked his Connor's last gonna ten lose. opponents. Connor's going to fucking lose if he if he can touch Mayweather. It's funny. Connor has to put gloves on. He's got to do boxing rules. But he has. He's got to go sixteen ounce gloves. 16 ounce, the heavy gloves. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like Mayweather boxes with. Dude, you know and what I mean? Connor has yeah. to gain weight. Not the four. So that's, that's a, If that's Connor touches him, said. he's going to sleep. You know what I'm saying? If, if he touches Mayweather, Connor's got thunder in his fucking left. You know what I mean? Yeah, if he yeah. touches him. He knows how to. Well, but Bob Mayweather has Mayweather is 49 and 0 because. It's 12 rounds. Isn't it Connor supposed to be like the lead in the Predator movie, the new one? They're talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But, but he's also said, if no, was, if I've he, got shit to do. He, no, no, oh, no, he's yeah, waiting yeah. on whether he, or not he, he wins he, his fight. He's got so of, many movie roles that he turned down because he's not a fucking Connor Rousey. The guy is smart as fuck. If he wants to act, he can act. He wants there's a time and place. He wants to make a mark. There's a time and a place for everything. He's got precision and timing. Precision and timing. Yep. Precision and timing. I don't know if you know this, but Conor McGregor, he said this once or twice. His precision and timing. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. 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 He's had precision and timing. Beat speed and power. Yeah, and, uh, every time. Yep. So that's that's what he's banking on. And I can see him dodging stuff. I can see him going... Five rounds with Mayweather. Well, see, I can see him rocking Mayweather in the th- second round. Mayweather only moves forward whenever he's hurt his prey. That's it. He's he moves back. He's a defensive fighter. He's he's. I don't think he's the best boxer of all time, but he is one of the three best defensive fighters I've ever seen. He's, he, you know what he, I'm saying? I'm telling you that Connor's not going to leave him on the ropes. Connor's going to let him bounce and but come Connor, to him. And see, that's the thing, though. Connor's Connor, going to counter counterattack. Count, Connor moves forward, but he's a he's 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 a karate style fighter. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He'll move the, him his, forward his, until his movement, he, he gets back. He, he inches in. He, gets he doesn't back jump in. in. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He, he knows. When Mayweather knocks people out, it's because they run in straight forward. May, McGregor, McGregor doesn't fight like that. But Mayweather's been training. Mayweather runs from against his opponents this right now. You know what I'm saying? He fuck yeah. he gets in their head and runs from him. He's and got tries an to get entire them country get fucked up. You know what I mean? And then he catches them when they're literally tired. liberated right. themselves from the British back in the. I fucking... would get tired too so, if I oh, kept yeah. getting hugged but the shit Con- out. Connor of Connor's night. gonna give a good show. I'm saying he's only gonna go five rounds. He's gonna get hit. He's gonna get rocked hard. I don't, Mayweather... know, I don't, I don't think Mayweather can hurt him. He's, if you think Dude, about it, he, the fifth round, Mayweather's going to hit him. With oh, yeah, no, he, he's going to touch him. For sure. You know what I'm saying? But, but the fifth round, he's, a, he's an Olympic he's gonna style hit, points He's going to get raw. You know what I'm saying? And he's Mayweather he's on points. Mayweather. He's got you know? Mayweather the ropes. He's got his guard down. And I'm saying Connor's going to hit him hard and with his signature left. And Mayweather's going to stand. If not he gonna, can get Mayweather not, to come towards him. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm just saying. If, it's only going to last five rounds. If McGregor can stay back. You know what I'm saying? And get in his head, talk shit. You fucking puss. You fucking pussy. You know, fucking all that. You yeah. fucking bitch. Connor you fucking doesn't bitch. have 12 you know? rounds in him. And get Mayweather pissed off to come forward. He can connect. But Mayweather is really, really good about. No. Watch the way he fights. He's got this. He's got this James Tony style of fighting, right? Yeah. To where he keeps. This, it's like Muay Thai, to where you keep a shoulder in front of your your chin, Dude. jaw and chin, and he's, his hand-eye coordination is almost perfect. To where even at fucking 40, you know what I'm saying? You're he's gonna, 40. You're gonna see. He's, he Connor goes has gloves punches. on. He's Connor got, he, has he gloves see on. everything coming, and he goes with stuff so they don't hurt him. Yeah. He's only he been misses. hit his flush like five times. You know what I'm so saying? So Connor's gonna all hit five him. Times his knees. He, Connor's gonna hit you know him hard, mean? dude. So and Connor gets harder than all those dudes. Yeah, but Connor so has gloves on. I'm saying yeah. he. Well, dude, so did he's those guys. Only gonna last. Yeah. Well, Mayweather knows how to knock people out with gloves. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that, that's the thing though. He's a points fighter. The only time that he's knocked anybody out is when they come straight forward. N- old new Mayweather. I, I, I want to say old Mayweather. I don't mean young Mayweather. You right. know what I mean? But current Mayweather, the last ten fights, he's cherry picked people that were either coming up and weren't at their peak or were already on their way out. You know what I mean? It's well, like you put him in there with Oscar De La Hoya in his fucking prime. You got a different story because Oscar fucking worked his ass and almost beat him. You know what I'm saying? Almost fucking beating. You know, and that was after five years after he was the shit. 
You know what I'm saying? And he fought Juan Manuel Marquez. You know what I mean? He was fucking an awesome Mexican fighter, but going down. Manny Pacquiao. If he had fought Manny Pacquiao All right. four All right. years so, before, so when here's, he was supposed here's to, the bet. Here's different the bet. story. You know what who, I mean? Right. Who so thinks that Mayweather will win? Who thinks that Conor will win? And if you do, tell me the round that went in. I'm going to say Conor loses in the fifth round. Mayweather wins. Knockout? Round. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't see him knocking him out. Yeah. I, yeah. See, I see him. He can't last 12 rounds. I don't say, know. It's it, it all depends on how much weight he has to yeah. cut. What right, the so catch what weight think? is. What do you think, man? I think it, it's completely. It's it's based on a couple like these things. If like I said, if May, if McGregor can goad Mayweather into a brawl, right, and get Mayweather for coming forward, he'll knock Mayweather the fuck out. He, all he has to do is touch him once with that left hand. You know what I'm saying? And connect. But Mayweather is also the best at not getting hit. You know what I'm saying? So I think. I think Mayweather, uh, 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 McGregor's got way more stamina than people know. Because if you look at that last so, Diaz so fight, think? fifth round. Who's going to win in what, what round? I think it's not going to happen. You're going to go 12 rounds? No, I think the Decision? fight's not going to happen. I think No, no, no. Besides that, you have to say the fight is happening. Like just the fight is happening. The and everything, you don't think it'll even happen. I don't even think it'll happen, no. Because yeah. Mayweather, Mayweather has everything to lose. Why would he tarnish his perfect record, 49-0, going for that 50 against somebody that... Has nothing it's a 50th. to lose. Right. It's he has everything to lose. And Mayweather, and especially can do in it. its current position. You know what I saying? think Mayweather is going to win. He I'm shit for him. He burnt twenty million dollars on YouTube just to prove a point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, Twenty-five million ain't shit to that dude. He's a so, so, a billion. So you have no you know? sales. Really is kind Hunter, of what, what do you think? What do you, who's going to win? I like to think. Yeah, it's not going to happen. No one Mayweather is just kind of like. I think it will happen. Around. He's just doing it to stay relevant. You this know? is the guy who has Justin Bieber and Lil Wayne come up mm. stage with him every almost every other time he yeah. shows up somewhere, you know? Mayweather's a badass man, but he's a cocky fuck. He's really good at what he does, but he's got glass hands. That's why he and that's a fact. He only yeah. fights in Nevada because Nevada is the only state in the union that allows this the this synthetic no uh, this the whole hugging shit. thing. They to shoot work synthetic out. Co- cocaine into his hand before every fucking fight yeah. because his hands have been broken literally 30 times, you know what I mean? Both hands. So every time they have to dope his fucking hands up just so he can't feel them, so he can punch shit. Right, and you would you know? feel infinitely better oh, about yeah. your chances oh, yeah. if you got doped he, up. That's why he wouldn't fight Manny Pacquiao at the fucking Cowboys Stadium. You right. know what I'm saying? It's because he, he had, Texas don't fuck around. You can't have that shit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, it would be a real fight. Yeah, he know? owns Vegas. You know yeah. what I'm saying? The dude fucking literally gambles $100 million at the fucking tables. Who cares? You let's know? let's, let's right. fucking Nova can both their And hands. for him, his name is literally Money Mayweather. You know what I mean? It's all about the fucking money. And, and it's like someone else dude, manages his Everyone money dies anyhow, in Vegas, you know? dude. <laughs> He's got his own you promotional look at Rondi team. Rondi yeah. And Conor you McGregor at, has his own promotional company. You know you what I'm saying? At, uh, so it's like you've got Frank three Sinatra. promotions competing for the Chelsea. Elvis Presley. You know? Yeah. And yeah, it's, it could it could, could be it could be the biggest, most awesome spectacle. You know what I mean? But but let's say hypothetically it does happen. It it fucking happens. I think Mayweather runs from him for the first five, six rounds. I think they end up getting Mayweather, or, uh, McGregor starts fucking like wrapping him up and shit and everything because he can't take him down. But he's also fucking, even though he's not as good as the really good jujitsu guys, he trains jujitsu. He trains wrestling, he trains sambo, all that shit. He can take a motherfucker down. So if he gets in there and wraps him up and starts pissing Mayweather off, you know what I'm saying? Just then, then Mayweather's going to get out of his own head a little bit and his ego's going to be fucking there. Because Mayweather just knows. All I got to do is tag, tag, jab, 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 and out strike this guy. And every middle of rounds, talk mm-hmm. shit. Yeah, talk shit. Instead of across from him, you fucking, you fuck, you fucking fuck. You know, just yeah. cu- talking shit. That's the case. Mayweather or he Mayweather goes nighty night for the first time ever. Right. I don't think it's going to happen, man. Mm-hmm. I think if it does happen... Mayweather's gonna come with his fucking knuckles numb. Mayweather and will be May the, the f- male like, Ramsey. Maul, maul him. I don't think so. No, I, mm-hmm. I just think he's gonna teach him a lesson uh, about how to strike hard. But and, he doesn't and, hit and hard, though. from there on, Conor McGregor's unstoppable in the MMA. Mm-hmm. In the UFC, he's done. He knows how to fucking kill a person. Because mm-hmm. he got a fucking fist full of... What will ever Man. happen to CM Punk doing MMA stuff? Got his ass beat by a fucking real fighter. <laughs> <laughs> Got his ass beat by a real fighter that had like fucking 50 amateur fights and, yeah. and, and but only had like one professional fight. I remember uh, Jason David Frank kept wanting to fight him. Dude, Mickey Gall's a bat. He's he's a tough fucking kid. He, 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 when Dana White did Looking for a Fight, um, 
where they go around like looking for new scouts and shit. Yeah. And he, they see this. They go to check out Mickey Gall, and he's in there, and he fucking destroys this kid, and he says, "I want CM Punk." Fuck it, because he knows Dana White's out there and CM Punk's <laughs> going to fucking come fight and nobody's talking yet. And so he's like, I want CM Punk. And they're like, well, fuck yeah, let's do this because this kid is inexperienced. He's, in, he's just It'll starting out. It'll be an out. easy win for he's CM. He's just starting out too. He only is 1-0. and You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, ah, uh, no, this dude's fucking 51-0, and motherfucker. You know what right. I mean? And, 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 uh, and then and, uh, remember that period of time where the kid from Jerry Maguire and Stuart Little was doing MMA? Uh-uh. Like, uh, he, I don't know if it was for a movie <laughs> or for his own self, but yeah. that kid was beefing himself up doing mm -hmm. MMA shit and I don't know if he's still pursuing it or what but that yeah. kid looks totally fucking different from a little vampire nice. yeah dude. <laughs> fucking little vampire that would have been funny if that kid like knocked mm -hmm. like, him or Mayweather or whatever the fuck out yeah, <laughs> fuck just in an yeah, MMA dude. yeah it's a uh, I don't know man it's a uh, it's it's just one of those things though also too you never know what the fuck could happen you know what right. I mean? That's one beautiful thing about MMA, more more than boxing, I think. Because boxing, as awesome as it is, and I've loved it since I was fucking three years old. You know, my family, every time there'd be a big fight, they'd get on pay-per-view, and we'd all, fucking the whole family would watch shit. Like, I remember watching Michael uh, Mike Tyson knock out Michael Spinks in 93 seconds. was fucking dope. 96, wow. sec 96 seconds. That shit was crazy, because half of our family was still in the kitchen getting their drinks. Oh, shit. And fucking it's, oh, shit. And I'm sitting right by the TV like, what the fuck? And then watching... Hanging out with my friends, and my friend knocks out our other friend because they're kind of slap bo like boxing each other. Accidentally knocks out our boy, and then literally five seconds later, Mike Tyson bites off in Vander Holyfield's ear. You know what I'm saying? It's like fucking. Yeah. So what you're saying is Vietnam was a hell of a war. You old fucking man, dude. I'm telling you, man. Thirty clicks outside Mekong Delta. So uh, let, let's plug outside some Danang. shit real quick. Uh, Hunter, you get plugged. Oh. Uh, psychobastardo.com. Check it. <laughs> you on Facebook? Yes. All the social media. I think I got one for everything. What's your Twitter account? Psychobastardo. Fucking nerd. Yeah. Fucking nerd. <laughs> you can follow me at Fox Mantis Radio. Uh, dot whatever. You can follow me on Fox Mantis Radio. You already know because you're listening to this podcast. Just follow me, stupids. Uh, Chaha, what do you got plugged? Uh, you can follow me at your mama. Um, Fucking little bitch. Yeah. <laughs> at your mama. My mom's a saint. I'm off the grid, motherfuckers. Shit. Yeah, I don't fuck around. I, like I like I said, I only get on Facebook to see who's died and who's got married. Well, you it's can you can it. follow our old school material at a fucking cake beaters at YouTube. You can reach me at the Pony Express. Oh yeah, dude, you gotta fucking visit the Pony. Be a Give telegram. Him a good pat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Carrier pigeons are great. You guys hear Pat and Oswald's wife died? That was like That's a year sad. ago. It's sad, dude. Oh, man. Isn't it supposed to be funny because he's a comedian? Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. This part's being cut, but niggers suck, right? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm surprised no. Donald Glover fucking is able to have a career after that nigger faggot skit. Did you see that? Uh -uh. It's like, oh, it's, dude, it's, it's like hilarious. he's curating a spelling bee, mm -hmm. and then like they, he has those, this ring of white people coming. He's like, You've all made it this far. Y'all are the last three. Thank you for coming. Your the word fifth is round. nigger faggot. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. They just can't do it. Can they I can't get, get through it. Of course. The definition is nigger faggot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, he can do it though. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? yeah. It's like Donald Glover's a genius. That's like He's great. That's like people get mad at me for saying cracker. Yeah, bag, yeah, you know. it's it's totally the same. Yeah, people arena. get mad it's at just, Chaha it's for saying Disney cracker. It's like you're, like, you're now Lando Calrissian. Who yeah, saw this cliff. we loved it. You were gonna be in a Star Wars. We movie. loved oh, you in Bro yeah. Rape. We loved you in Community. We want you as fucking that would be Star a Wars. Would put That's on my great. Mm -hmm. Is that it's <laughs> like Chris Pratt getting fucking Star Lord, dude. Yeah, it's badass. Yeah. It's fucking awesome. Fuck yeah, dude. Speaking of parks, it's like remember that um, thing that Pat and Pat Oswalt did where he connected Star Wars and Marvel together. Dude, and he just like and ranted for eighteen minutes and they recorded it. You can look that shit that on was YouTube. Fucking awesome. That's fucking funny. There it goes on a long ass ramp that they edited for the show, but it goes on and on and fucking on. Somebody made an animated skit of that where it actually fucking <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> it the best. It. It, it's fucking. Damn. I totally see it happening, honestly. Like after they're done with this Infinity War shit, or fucking. You guys like uh, FPS Russia? 
Oh man, I haven't seen this shit in years. Dude, What's he doing now? It's fucking same shit, dude. Yeah. Just blowing shit up with really blow cool up guns. So much shit with so much oh, yeah. guns. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, he's getting creative with shit too. Like he's strapping yeah. like fucking. He started strapping aerosol cans to shit. Yeah. And then uh, actually making like bombs pretty much and strapping yeah, and stuff and without so, straight up C four just oh, yeah. straight up like just fucking blowing shit and like. Stuff. Yeah, like his uh, he's got one where he's got an a two AA twelves. Right, which is a yeah. fully automatic 12 gauge shotgun, but the way it's built, it's got very little recoil. Yeah. And he's got like a barrel drum it's got the little, on each one. Yeah, I, I remember you that. You can get one. the double barrel drum on it, looks like a nut, big fat nut sack. Tommy gun type that's thing. That's just literally shotguns, 12 yeah. gauge and alternate it from buckshot to slug to fucking exploders to fucking, you know what I'm saying? High yeah, the dragon fire you know? rounds. Yeah, and stuff. dragon This has been really Fox Mantis Radio. Uh, Thank you for listening to our NSA. Please don't take uh, AT-12 control. away. Kill yourself, you fucking loser. Yeah. I'm Please so don't scared. take away. I fucking hate myself. Guns are really cool. You've been listening to Fox Guns Man's don't radio kill and... people. Bye-bye. Guns don't kill people. Bye-bye. People Guns kill, kill people. people. You do. People kill yourself. People kill people. <laughs> Gun- Guns are fun. Yeah, kill yourself. Kids with guns, cha cha cha. Kids with guns, cha cha cha. Kids with guns. Well, if they get rid of the guns, we can't Kids protect with ourselves guns. from the bad people that have guns. Kids even. with guns. Uh, yeah, bad people have guns right Kids now, with guns. illegally. But how am I going to play Kids the Columbine level on counter Kids with guns. <laughs> Kids with guns. <laughs> with guns, cha cha. This has been Fox Minutes Radio. Thank you for listening. Hey guys, it's been a pleasure. Bye, folks. <laughs> My boy, Pig Monkey. And my boy Hunter Way and Hunter, pleasure. It's fun. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, take care. And this has been Late Night with Fox Mantis Radio. Love you.